Hello, hello, hello again, everybody, and welcome back to another Art Lapse. Today, we will be illustrating the one, the only, Latrice Royale. And if you aren't familiar with Latrice Royale, go ahead and do yourselves a favor and go look her up. She is one of the most beloved queens to ever walk the runway of RuPaul's Drag Race. So today I am illustrating her look that she wore to RuPaul's DragCon, I believe the one in LA. And when I saw her look, the queen of hearts, I was in love. I knew I had to illustrate it and bring this look to life through magical cartoon illustrating. My specialty. She is a part of, I believe I decided on 30 drag queens for my drag queen fan art collection of some of my favorite queens to ever appear on RuPaul's Drag Race, which I am totally obsessed with. So like always, I start with a sketch that I pull into Photoshop and then I take my Powell Webster Ultimate Thick to Thin brush pen and start tracing over some of those lines, honey. And when you are working in line work, you always want to focus on thick to thin. Thick to thin. Say it with me now, people. Thick to thin. Or thin to thick or thin to thick to thin, because this is what creates the rhythm and flow in your artwork, as well as putting the thicker line of, say, we're working on her crown here, of some of those ovals is going to give that illusion of shadow by putting the thicker edge on the bottom of your shape and the thinner edge on the top. So that's a neat little trick there for y'all. And having these thick to thin lines really creates that rhythm and flow. The next way to create rhythm and flow in your artwork is to alternate between straight lines and curved lines, whether they're C curves or S curves. So while you're inking a piece, you wanna be considering these and paying attention to your lines and you know just doing those lines of intention as you're going throughout the piece and getting those thick to thin so you can maintain the integrity of the rhythm and flow it may not seem like it makes a difference when you're concentrating on one line like that or one detail but when you step back and observe the piece as a whole, and I promise you if you go over one of your artworks and trace over it with this intentional mindset, you will notice a difference if you have more contrast between thick and thin lines. Lighten in all these details some of those details colored in blocked in now that we have our base line work laid down so to add more of a glow or a softness in the face I applied a radiant radial gradient which of a lighter tone which allows for her face to really feel like it's glowing there we saw a reference image of the one the only latrice royale so i wanted to make sure i got this piece just right so now i'm making a custom brush which is a diamond so that I can add in sparkles without having to do each individual one. This took me a little time to remember how to do it, but you can just make a new layer, create your shape in black, 
against a white background and define brush set. Then you can go into your brush settings and add spacing or shape variation, count jitter, all that stuff to create more of a randomized diamondy look because Latrice Royale, she's always wearing these beautiful gowns that are totally stoned out full of gems and crystals and all these details and I really wanted to make sure that I honored that and there you have it the Latrice Royale working her queen of hearts fantasy in her full eleganza so if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button and if you want to see more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you never miss an art lapse. And remember, you're magical, so shine on!